boxing truth here. I hear it is last minute prediction video for the big fight tonight. Canelo Triple G. A lot of anticipation. We're all just waiting for a good fight. No trash talk needed. These guys are not trash talkers. They're just gonna go in there and put on a show. We're all expecting a, a great fight tonight between the two. Be nice as this fight goes down in history as one of the middleweight fights that people talk about for years to come. And I expect that type of fight. Both guys look, uh, seem fired up. They seem motivated. Both look in great shape. We'll see how motivated Golovkin is. We'll see how explosive he is tonight. Whether he can still have a big time performance at the age of 35. A lot of people are, are riding with Golovkin. I would say more so than Canelo Alvarez. Canelo has his, his support. A lot of people, a lot of professionals, a lot of in insiders are, are going with Canelo. It's that type of fight. I can't knock people for riding with Golovkin. I mean, the people that ride with Golovkin bring up great points. He's, he's too established in the middleweight division. He has too many... Too much experience in the middleweight division. He's fought real middleweights. He's bigger and stronger. He's he just has a track record at that weight division. All are great points. But I'm just looking at the ability of Canelo and, and comparing it to Golovkin's opponents. And I just see Canelo as just being a much higher caliber fighter. A type of fighter Golovkin has yet to fight in his professional career. Canelo has really improved. And Golovkin, I haven't seen much improvement since 2014. He's pretty much the same fighter. It'll be interesting to see what type of style he chooses tonight. Will he be aggressive? I think he's going to go after Canelo. I think he's going to use the Martin Murray style. The style, the, that type of style he fought. He's going to come forward. He's going to pull out of pressure. He's going to see if he could gas out Canelo. Wear him down. And that's very possible. That could be a possible scenario. But that's also going in the wheelhouse of Canelo Alvarez. What I've noticed about Golovkin and many of his opponents is that He's never fought a guy that punches with him. Never fought a guy that really counters with him. A lot of the guys he's fought were were there to be hit, would take a beating, wouldn't wouldn't uh, be brave and, and and fight fire with fire. And Golovkin is very open. Has a lot of openings when he attacks you. I just haven't seen any fighters take advantage of it because I don't really I haven't seen. Golovkin fight a really skilled counter puncher. Not many fighters got on the inside and, and uh, try to back him up. Only a couple of fighters. Kasim Uma had some success. Won at least four rounds in their fight. Monroe had a little success when he decided to fight on the inside. Won a couple of rounds. Maybe won one round. When he changed his style up because... You can't run away from Golovkin. That's not how you beat the guy. You can't fight like a bitch against Golovkin. He's going to track you down and just jab the shit out of you. You have to fight fire with fire. You got to punch with Golovkin. You got to stay in the pocket and, and counter him. You got to make him respect you. That's why William Monroe couldn't defeat Golovkin. He couldn't get Golovkin's respect. He didn't do that from the get-go. He didn't go inside and just try to back him up and land big shots. You gotta make Golovkin respect you. Otherwise, he's just, he's just gonna steamroll you sooner or later. That runaway style is not gonna cut it. Trying to box him, you gotta back him up. And Canelo has the style to do it. He's got the ability to do it. He's not gonna run away. That's not his style. He's gonna stay in the pocket and he's gonna land big shots and he's gonna try to outbox him within punching range. And that's what's going to make the fight one of the best fights this year. Both guys are going to be within each other, within punching range of each other. And they're going to see who's got better hands. And to me, Canelo's got better hands. He's got more athletic type punching. He's more stylish. He's more flashy. Golovkin 
definitely need to knock out to win this fight. And, you know, his trainer is talking a lot of shit, saying it's impossible for Canelo to beat Golovkin, but Danny Jacobs made it look possible this, this past March. I mean, Danny Jacobs is a good fighter, but he ain't that good. He wasn't looking spectacular going into that fight. I mean, the reality is he's only a contender. He's never won a legitimate world title. He hasn't really accomplished much in his career. What's his best win? Peter Quillen? Seriously? Canelo is on another level. He's he's an elite fighter. He's one of the best fighters in the world. And to me, none of Golovkin's opponents are better than Canelo. Canelo is the recognized Lino middleweight champion. He's got the names on his resume. He's 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 fought some some quality competition. And this is Golovkin's signature fight. And he's coming into this fight fighting the guy regarded as the best opponent of his career. After 37 fights, being professional for about 10 years. But Canelo is a guy with the more professional experience. It's amazing how many fights this kid's had. There's actually fights that have been unrecorded in Mexico. Canelo really has 60 fights under his belt. 60 fights at 27 years old. The guy is very seasoned for his age. He's a veteran for his age. So the experience factor, I think, is is it's evened out because Canelo has so much more professional experience. Golovkin has more amateur experience. But the professionals is a different ball game. Longer rounds, smaller gloves, no headgear. Golovkin has great pedigree. He he's a really really good pressure fighter. Has great feet, always in position to punch. Has very awkward shots to him that can make it very difficult. I mean, he's got a type of awkward punches that are are very difficult to get away from. He's got that overhand right, which is very effective, which Canelo has to stay away from. He has a very good, powerful jab, which is effective, accurate, and he has a over-the-top left hand, which is also awkward to try to get away from. Not many fighters throw that type of punch. And you're not really taught how to get away from that shot. The overhand right is, is difficult to get away from as well. The, especially the way Golovkin throws it. So, Golovkin has punches in his arsenal that are going to make it difficult. That Canelo's going to have to watch out for. However, I've noticed Golovkin keeps his left hand very low. Especially after he jabs. Canelo's going to be on point for this fight. He's very motivated. He is determined. And he's going to be even better. He's going to be extra sharp. He's going to be extra alert. He's going to be very aware because this is why he doesn't get hurt in his fights. Yeah, he got hurt against Jose Miguel Cotto when he was 19 fucking years old. Who gives a shit? Have you ever seen the guy get hurt since? The reason why he doesn't get hurt because he has great eyes. He's always aware of all the punches that are coming at him. And he's going to be aware of the punches that that Golovkin controls at him. Because Golovkin doesn't have great speed. And Canelo has great highs. And he has, and he sees everything. That's why he has great head movement. He has a great counter-punching ability. Because he sees a lot of the punches coming at him. Canelo has to get respect from Golovkin. Early. He needs to let him know that he just can't walk through him. Without receiving a, a fire in return. And, and the type of fire that hurts. Where... It, Golovkin has to be careful and has to show some respect. I see it being a long distance fight. There's definitely concern uh, if Canelo does gas out. He's shown some conditioning problems as well. Golovkin has shown some conditioning problems in the past as well too. He hasn't had many long distance fights, but when he has had to go that that range, that that long of a distance. He's he's shown some good conditioning, but he does tire in in the middle rounds. He 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 gets very winded, but then he gets a second win. So it's gonna be a battle of attrition. It's gonna be a skillful, powerful boxing match, and whoever sets up the shots they that land land the big shots. 
that's the smarter fighter and is able to capitalize on their opponent's mistakes is going to win. I see it going the distance. There definitely could be a, a stoppage in this fight. I believe both guys could hurt each other. I believe Canelo could hurt Triple G if he catches him with something he doesn't see, like a, like a quick counter punch or maybe a quick counter to the body with the left hook, which this Triple G is open for. If Triple G lands his right hand, overhand right, does some good body work and then comes up with the uppercut, Canelo's got to stay off the ropes in the beginning. He's got to get through that danger zone. The first four rounds are going to be very dangerous. He's got to make sure he, he gets Golovkin respect. But being that it's in Las Vegas, being that Golovkin is coming off, you know, somewhat, somewhat of a weak performance. You know, he, 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 he beat Jacobs, but it wasn't by much, and it wasn't impressive. Being that it's kind of, it's rather difficult to get a decision against Canelo, and being that Canelo has very judge-friendly type punches. I mean, the, his punches are beautiful, crisp, sharp. They look better than Golovkin's. Golovkin's may be harder, but Canelo really has stylish-looking, judge-friendly type punches, and, and he's gonna he's gonna land on Triple G a lot. He's gonna be landing some really good shots, some really big counters combinations, and and with the fan support that Canelo has, it's gonna sway the judges. I believe Canelo is good enough, skilled enough strong enough and tough enough to last the distance with Triple G. Especially at this stage in Triple G's career where he's 35, coming off not the greatest of performances. And I don't think he's capable of having a big time performance at this stage. It's going to be another tough fight for him. The the fear that was once there for opponents is longer no longer there because Triple G looked vulnerable. He looked human in his last fight. And he looked beatable. And you can win rounds off Triple G. I see you going into a decision. But Canelo, his counter punching, his, his more stylish looking punches are going to sway the judges. And because Triple G is, very, is his hittable, especially when he comes forward, Canelo is going to get the nod in his favor but I see Canelo winning, winning the fight around an 8-4 7-5 type of decision it will be controversial people because that's just too close people will think Triple G won or he did enough or he put enough, in enough work but I see Canelo winning the fight his uh his style is just and his, the way he punches and, and the way he has these judge-friendly judge type punches is, is just going to be too much for Triple G to overcome. He needs a knockout, and I don't think he's capable at this stage. I don't think it took him 10 rounds to wear down Kasim Mumo, a guy who was past his best. 11 rounds to, to stop Martin Murray. He couldn't stop Danny Jacobs, a guy who was, has a weak chin. took him eight rounds to wear down David Lemieux, but David Lemieux is very limited as a fighter. Good power, but doesn't have the skill set of Canelo Alvarez. Canelo's going to surprise a lot of people. I, I see him having some big-time moments against Golovkin. Might even outbox Golovkin from, from, uh, from winning the pocket. Will show superior punch variation compared to Golovkin, and that's what's going to win the fight for him. He's been improving. He's the younger, fresher guy. He has a lot of professional experience. And he really wants this fight. He's going to really be on point. I watched the Miguel Cotto fight just recently. And man, that was one of Canelo's best performances, man. I don't know what people have against Canelo. People think he lost the Trout fight. He lost the Lara fight. Some, actually, some people actually think he lost the Cotto fight. I don't know if it's, it's just pure hatred this kid gets. Or, you know... They feel he's protected, he's a cherry picker, but he didn't lose any of those fights. He beat Lara, he beat Trout, 
and he freaking absolutely dominated and schooled Miguel Cotto. Cotto won one round in that fight. And people say he couldn't hurt Cotto. Watch the 12th round. And look how Cotto reacted to the body shot in the 12th round. He got hurt bad. Almost got stopped in the last round. He couldn't hurt Chavez Jr. Has Chavez Jr. been hurt? Other than the Fonfara fight? He's, he's always shown a good chin in his fights. Even after taking a beating against Maravilla. Miguel Cotto has never shown to be hurt beyond 140, 147 pounds. Where he used to drain himself, kill himself to make those weights, which weakened his chin. He's always shown a good chin beyond 147 pounds. So, y'all can say Canelo don't got no punching power. He can't hurt Triple G. But lately, he's actually shown more one-punch knockout type power compared to Triple G. Triple G, he, the way he gets his knockouts most of the time is by wearing down opponents. Haven't seen too many one-punch knockout fights, not in recent years. But we're going to see who's the stronger fighter. We're going to see who's the more powerful fighter. We're going to see who's the bigger puncher. Who's the most skilled fighter. And right now, this is Canelo Alvarez's time. He will defeat Triple G by unanimous decision. And he will reign supreme in the motivate division for a long time. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.